How's it going guys? Jeremy here and welcome to another edition of Gaming with Jeremy. Now today we are going to do something a little different for our, this channel. Um, we're going to do a little drift build here. Um, I'm going to drift on a budget though. I'm going to do a $50,000 budget. It seemed like that was fair enough. Um, I've seen other videos like this, but I figured, you know, why not give it a try. So, I bought myself a stock 240SX here. Brand spanking new. Only like $6,000 in the game. Figure I'll see what we can do to this car here. Now, we're going to start off with an engine swap. Um, I think we're going to go... Yeah, we're just going to go an inline four. All right, 6,120. Alright, we'll go ahead and buy that. That brings us down to 43,880 credits left. Be a good start. Okay. Um, already has a turbo in it. Let's see what we can do here. Now, I just like to start off with an air filter. Um, I feel like it helps a lot. There you go. It brings us up to 267 horsepower. Brings us down to 40,550 credits left. Let's see what else we could do here. We gotta do. Hmm, let's upgrade the turbo. That's definitely a must have. It's gonna take a lot. Okay, 11,070. Brings us down to 29,480. I think we could do that. That'll make a big difference. Ah, uh, okay. Since we got the turbo, we gotta go with the race intercooler here. It's another three grand, it's not bad. We'll do that. Brings us down to 26,150 credits. Alright, let's see what else we could do here. And we gotta do the exhaust. It's gotta sound better. I mean, come on, you got that inline four in there. Four banger, you gotta, gotta do the exhaust, guys. Got it. All right, that's going to bring us down to 19,490 credits. Now, I think... Should I rebuild the top end? Oh, that's a lot. Well, let's see what else we could do here. Um, I'm going to have to throw some springs in there. Get nice and low. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got to do that. That's a must. Alright, that brings us down to 13,910 credits. Let's see what else we can do here. Now the weight reduction... It's going to bear our acceleration up, so I think we're going to do that as well. That's 2250. And that's going to bring us down to 11,660 credits left. Now, we don't need any of these. We don't need brakes, because, you know, drift car. Let's see what we could do here. Um, racing clutch. Yeah, we could do a racing clutch. That'll definitely help. Brings us down to 8,870 credits and about 407 horsepower right now. Now, I do not like the race tranny in this car because it brings down the launch a lot. So, we're just going to keep it stock for now. We do got to slap on that race differential though, which is going to, oh, let's see here, it's going to bring us down to 44.60 left. So, um, keep the stock tires, we don't need any spoilers or nothing, it's just a waste at this point. Um, well, what else can we do here? 4,400 left. Not enough for that. Oh, it's a hard decision, guys. That's not going to help. Flywheel, that's what we forgot. Okay. 4,410. Alright. Yeah. So, let's do that. And we're only going to have like 50 credits left, so 
Yeah, that's enough for some beers afterwards or some shit. Alright. So we got our drift car set. And our budget is gone. So let's try and drive this thing, shall we? Alright. Let's do this. Oh, I hear that inline four screaming. You got yourself a basic drift car here now. It's not bad if you're on a budget, but. Let's bring it over to a rotary here. Alright, let's see how this baby does in the rotary here. Roundabout. Yeah, 400 horsepower, not, not bad. For Definitely not bad for 400 horses. Definitely does the job. God, I love that sound though. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this little video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see me do any other drifts builds or any other builds in general, leave a comment down below and let me know. Um, I'll do any car, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. My name's Jeremy, and yeah, have a great day.